Given the ongoing growth of Kanye's sizable fan base, his influence and impact are unaffected by obstacles and attempts to obstruct his success. When Travis Scott publicly acknowledged the importance of Kanye in his life for saving him from the Kardashian milieu, this moment reverberated throughout the music industry. You can only claim that there has only ever been one person on earth who has ever walked with you while doing everything and everything. Nicely, there is no such thing as retirement with that, and you certainly can't retire a creative genius man. One of the best leaders of our generation, Steve Jobs, is going to be homeless. I never felt lonely, and I always believed it was completely acceptable. I could just ride along with him while taking my kids from state to state. Kanye West continually overcomes challenges. Fans have long recognized the strong link between Travis and Kanye, but their interest in the extent of Travis's devotion for Kanye has been piqued by his latest gesture and his open affection for the rapper. There has only ever been one person on this earth who has ever walked beside me and engaged in numerous activities with me, and that person is Travis, who has openly confessed the unavoidable truth that Kanye was his savior throughout the Kardashian episode. Fans went into a frenzy over a video of Travis and Kanye sharing the stage during Travis Scott's recent Utopia show, which has caused a huge stir online. Travis claims that Kanye is his greatest source of inspiration, but let's first examine the nuances of their connection. Kanye and Travis had developed a familial bond. The friendship between Kanye West and Travis Scott was obvious even before the Kardashians entered their life. Travis Scott's touching interaction with Kanye is noteworthy. Kanye said, This is a fantastic year. You've got that unique flow akin to the Super Bowl leading to the Grammys all within the same league. From my perspective, it's like transitioning from one pinnacle to the next. Travis Scott has made it clear in public statements that he has a lot of respect for Kanye. The idea of retiring doesn't apply to creative geniuses since Kanye is a living icon. The significance of their friendship deepened as Kanye and Travis became a part of each other's families through their connections with the Kardashians. This bond became even more poignant against the background of their individual relationships with the Kardashian clan. Travis acknowledges that they all follow Kanye and consider him one of the most exceptional leaders of their generation and someone far ahead of his time. In navigating the difficult terrain of severing ties with a Kardashian, Kanye had been the trailblazer. His divorce from Kim, which took place in February 2021, developed as a turbulent episode marked by a flurry of public statements made by the two. Kim admitted, I never felt lonely before. It seemed perfectly fine to share a life with my children while my husband traveled from one state to another. I was content with this arrangement. However, as she approached middle age, the realization that her husband was living in a completely different state began to sink in. According to official documentation, Kim had reached a point where she was prepared to end their relationship. She reportedly started the process of reclaiming her maiden name in December 2021 and sought legal recognition as a single person. The court documents stated that their marital bond had irreparably broken while Kanye remained committed to preserving the marriage and nurturing their shared family. According to reports, Kanye was denied access to his kids. Surprisingly, Travis stepped in to save the day. In a public statement, Kanye said, I refuse to play this game any longer. This year, I'm taking control of my story. I'm embracing my role as a father with utmost dedication and will not allow this to persist on Chicago's fourth birthday. I'm speaking out I'm using my voice to convey that this recurring narrative needs to stop there are numerous people who lack a platform to voice their concerns when faced with manipulative scenarios like this. Kanye claimed that Kim Chris and the entire Kardashian clan were playing games in a video 
Canny suggested that Kim, Chris, and Travis were not invited to an extravagant birthday celebration. But thanks to Travis, Canny was still able to attend the birthday party despite the obstacles. Canny even publicly thanked Travis Scott, saying, I'm feeling immense joy right now. I want to give a shout out to Travis Scott for sending me the location and time, ensuring I could be present to share that precious birthday moment with my daughter and be with the rest of the family. Kaney's accounts on Twitter and Instagram were temporarily suspended when it was discovered that he had shared several posts that were offensive to the Jewish community. It's odd that no one from the Kardashian family supported Kaney at this time. Instead, Kim tweeted an ambiguous message. Some of her followers perceived it as a subtle dig at Kaney, according to a recent Entertainment Tonight article. Kaylee and Chris have also voiced their concerns over Travis' friendship with Kaney. It is clear that they are not happy with the current state of affairs. According to Hollywood Life, Chris wasn't fully comfortable with Travis hanging out with Kaney, especially in light of the circumstances surrounding Kenny and Kim's purported breakup. Travis allegedly contacted Kenny before to his formal performance in Rome to express his appreciation for Kenny's assistance during a time when Travis and Kelly were purportedly estranged. Travis and Kelly's relationship has always drawn criticism, as evidenced by the rumors that have swirled around them since they first started dating. One theory suggested that Killy and Travis started dating in order to make Tyga jealous. This theory revolved around the idea that Killy and Travis were still dating when she became pregnant with his child. During Killy's delivery, there were rumors that Chris insisted Killy pick her own birth partner. On the subject of children, this allegedly resembled a similar circumstance during Stormy's birth. Kenny earlier expressed his support for Travis in a statement. He made reference to the idea that inside the Kardashian community, Kardashian men lacked authority when making decisions on the lives of their children. Kenny suggested that they had little input in decisions on things like school, while Travis suggested that he might have more impact. Kenny referred to Tristan, I understand that because I didn't have a voice in the matter and didn't want my children attending Sierra Canyon, they would probably use my lack of custody to their advantage when you talk about this. It's intriguing to see that both Kenny and Travis appear to have experienced comparable purported events. Travis apparently had trouble getting access to his kids, and he reportedly tried to talk to Kelly about it. Chris, however, is believed to have avoided having similar conversations much like Kenny did when he received criticism for his words. Travis became involved in the catastrophic Astro World disaster, in which many people perished. In the wake of the tragedy, the Kardashians appeared more concerned with distance from the incident than with supporting Travis through his difficult times. Asserting that they would never have continued with filming or performing if they had been known, Kris Jenner turned to the internet to clarify their position. She highlighted that they were unaware of the fatalities until news reports surfaced after the concert. According to Mirror UK, Jenner sent her sincere sympathies to all the impacted families and her prayers for comfort during this trying time. The Kardashians remained silent about the Astroworld disaster for a while before making statements online in response to questions from followers. A comment on this theory noted that the idea that Pete Davidson and Kim Kardashian's PR partnership is a distraction from the Astroworld situation seems plausible given the family's historical tendencies. Another theory that has been circulating suggests that the Kardashians may use the controversy as part of their PR strategy. In a well-received Reddit thread titled Killy has been deleting a lot of pictures of her and Travis together recently, the community delved into the reasons behind Killy's apparent distancing from Travis, while Tristan and the other Kardashians have supported Tristan despite his history with Khloe. She erased photos of them and their children, as pointed out by a fan. 
They have always seemed to be so cooperative in co-parenting, so this change appears surprisingly abrupt. Yet another individual commented Travis Scott's internet activity has significantly decreased as excitement for revelations grows. According to sources cited by Insider, Travis Scott, Kylie Jenner's ex, recently celebrated his 32nd birthday. But to everyone's surprise, none of the Kardashians, including Kylie, sent him any birthday wishes. The U.S. Sun also reported on this a few months ago. Fans started to suspect this after discovering compelling evidence. Throughout this time, Kanye has been quietly supporting Travis as he has done throughout Travis and Killy's split. Additional sources close to Kanye have revealed that he personally wants to spare Travis from going through the struggles he did, but that's not all he's done. In the wake of the Astroworld tragedy, reports suggest that Kanye stood up for Travis. This support reportedly continued even when Billie Eilish allegedly made disparaging remarks about Travis. According to reports, Kanye stood up for him. What do you think about this? Let me know in the comments section below. If you want to know what to expect from your favorite actors and TV shows, or just want to satisfy your gossip cravings.